there's a lot to know before visiting Hawaii. And on this episode, we're going to cover some of the essential things to know before your next trip to Hawaii. Aloha. Welcome to Hawaii's Best. Here, you'll learn what to know before traveling as we discover Hawaiian culture, local businesses, and the experiences that make Hawaii the Aloha State. Aloha. Welcome to Hawaii's Best. My name is Brian Murphy. I am the host and owner of Hawaii's Best. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And today we are talking about what to know before visiting Hawaii. This episode happened to air earlier last year. And I wanted to share this with you because some of this is always helpful. And I was going through editing this episode. There is some stuff about COVID and travel. So I removed all that stuff and just left the essential things to know before visiting Hawaii. And this could be a longer list and maybe sometime in future episodes, we'll do a longer extensive list of what to know before visiting. Uh, but these are like the essential, the, the most important things to know before visiting Hawaii. And I have my daughter here with me, Ellie. She wants to give a couple tips to the kids out there. So if you're traveling as a family, here are some helpful tips to know. Ellie, what should a kid know before traveling to Hawaii? To bring lots of snacks. For the plane, right? Yeah, because it's a really long plane ride to Hawaii. And what's your other tip for kids to know before visiting Hawaii? Mm, They should definitely bring their phone. So if they have a phone or if they have like a tablet? They should download apps and download movies so... When there's no internet on the plane, you could watch them. Good tips, Al. And then once you're here in Hawaii, it's about spending time with family and doing what what do we do today? You want to talk a little bit briefly about what we did today and maybe coming up on a future episode, we're gonna be hearing about a bee farm, right? How did you was that fun, Al? Yes, it was really fun. So when you're traveling as a family, it's important to do some of those family things and supporting local and getting out on a farm or helping out. You had fun today, Al? Yes. What was the best part about today? Mm, Seeing the bees. Seeing the bees? Learning more more about bees? Yes. I really like the bees now. Okay. You really like the bees now. All right. So stay tuned for a future episode. We're going to be featuring High Honey Farm, and I can't wait for you to hear that. But before that, you got to know what to know before visiting Hawaii. And I hope you enjoy this brief episode about what to know before visiting Hawaii. We are going to be talking about what to know before you visit Hawaii. And this is kind of an updated list. I think the first thing you got to know is got to know when to come to Hawaii. Now, it's possible your ability to travel is limited to work and school schedules, and that's all good. But if if you're someone who can come whenever, it's helpful to consider your goals for the trip to help you schedule it. So if you want to whale watch while you're in Hawaii, you're going to want to come like December-ish to April-ish. You'll be able to do some whale watching then. Spring and summer obviously have the highest rates, and fall and winter are some of the lowest rates. Obviously, besides some of the big winter holidays, Christmas, New Year's, stuff like that. Some of the times that I love recommending people to visit Hawaii is late January, February. March can start to get pretty wet. But also September, like late September, once school goes back in, and October are pretty good areas to visit. The next one is be prepared to slow down, (laughs) especially if you're heading to the islands from the mainland, which I know most of you are. Each island has its own pace. And, you know, Waikiki and Honolulu, for instance, is a faster paced and obviously a larger city, Honolulu. But uh, try to have the mindset of being a guest rather than a tourist. And plus, you're on vacation, so remember to slow down. What I mean by being a guest rather than a tourist is a guest is someone who is coming with a posture of wanting to learn the culture, wanting to experience the culture, wanting to ask questions, just wanting to get a feel of the place and to be kind of immersed in the culture. Now, the word tourist, it's not a negative word, but what I mean by it, by that is, you know, tourists is having the mindset of going to a place to just kind of 
switch off, get on vacation. Whereas being a guest is, yeah, you can still do those things, but it's, it's just being more self in the, in a, more so in a posture of being a learner of culture rather than just getting your checklist and making sure you, you know, you do that luau and you go to that beach and you do that thing and getting your checklist off in, you know, those seven days. And then you just go back home where guests is really want to encourage you to be a part of as best you can, just the rhythm of Hawaii and just the vibe and feel of Hawaii. It's got a different feel. If you've never been before, as soon as you land, it just feels different. The air is different. It's sweeter. And you just got to be prepared to slow down and just let Hawaii happen. Next thing we covered recently on a podcast with our unofficial cultural practitioner, Kahanui uh, Solitorio, is know some Hawaiian words. Obviously, you know aloha, but do you know the depth of that word? We even did a whole podcast with Kahanui about the word aloha, and it's amazing. I'll link that below show notes. You obviously want to learn mahalo. Mahalo means thank you. you you'll want to learn a lot more. And it just kind of helps prepare you. And again, it goes back to the next, or it goes back to what we previously talked about is being prepared to slow down and being part of the culture. And just knowing some of the phrases and some of the Hawaiian words kind of helps prepare you and gets you in that mindset to travel into this amazing culture. All right, the next thing is be sure to bring your own reusable bags or you'll be paying for your own reusable bags on island There is a plastic bags ban in Hawaii. Say you're staying on Oahu and you're on the west side in that Koalina area. You know, you got your Target, you got your Costco. You're going to want to make sure that you have your own reusable bags when you shop or you can buy your own there. All right. The next one and last one is to be respectful of ocean safety and also hiking etiquette. What I mean by that is the ocean is more intense here. Go out with someone else rather than by yourself. Watch the waves rather than the shore and be aware of signs, especially about closures. If in doubt, don't go out. And even if things look calm and the the waves are breaking and they look great, things can change pretty quickly and you can get a, a gnarly rug wave hits you. So, be sure you don't turn your back to the ocean. Be aware, be cognizant, because it's super important to be aware of being safe. Yes, there are incredible lifeguards, but those lifeguards are working hard to watch over everybody. So the best you can, do your part in just being aware of the ocean. And same thing when you go hiking. I've done many a podcasts on on this, but when you go hiking, be aware of the trailhead, be aware of where the trail is and where the trail ends and don't go where it ends and don't go off the trail. It's important because it's not just things to like, you know, don't do this, don't do that. It's important because Hawaii is so beautiful and its nature is so raw and so magnificent. However, it's also very dangerous and it can be unpredictable. So please be aware of that. But you're going to have a great time if you follow these things to what to know before you travel to Hawaii. So thank you so much for listening today. And you can find all of this on a blog post by going to hawaiisbesttravel.com slash episode 65, 65. And it'll be all there for you. Again, thank you so much for listening today. And if this episode brought you value, I just want to ask you to please consider leaving a review. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts, that really helps the show out a lot. And I appreciate your time and thank you so much for listening. And until next time, be well. Aloha. Mahalo for listening to this episode of Hawaii's Best. To stay up to date on future episodes, please subscribe and visit us at hawaiisbesttravel.com.